Hi guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist, and I am coming to you with another video. I know. What? Again, here she is. Really? Um, yeah. I realize I have been posting consistently about the financial challenge and the use what you got instead of buying what you want challenge. And definitely been pushing, pushing, pushing videos out about Lock Appreciation Day because I really, really really am excited about that whole concept and I want everyone to be as excited as I am um, and I've been getting so much you know positive um, support that I just I've been having to just give you know shout it out shout it out as, as often as I can so um, with that being said I am gonna put this one little thing in because this video is not about that but I did create a playlist on my channel called Lock Appreciation Day and in that I am posting I'm putting every video that I've created as well as all the videos that all my wonderful buddies and pals here on YouTube have done um, talking or shouting out um, Lock Appreciation Day if for some reason I'm not subscribed to you and you do a video about Lock Appreciation Day um, and you want me to include it on that playlist please inbox me and at, you know link that message link link your video so I can know that you are also supporting Lock Appreciation Day I want all those all the content about Lock Appreciation Day to go on one playlist all right that's all I'm gonna say about that now it's all about me so what's been going on with QO chemist outside of all that stuff um, about my locks I've had plenty of people ask me have my locks gotten thicker or are they growing or what's going on with my hair um, I'm not going to say that the actual locks themselves are getting any thicker. I think they are the thickness that they are. Um, I wish they would, you know. But I, I've come to a point where I'm at peace with the fact that I, God designed me with so many hairs on my head. And he made it only so thick. And so the locks that I have, if I'm going to continue to have locks, are only going to be so full. I see some so many others of you beautiful full full locks and I just drool and envy you and I will have to just drool and envy you um, and just love the locks that I have so that being said it's been over a month since I interlocked I don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up yeah so you can see I got some fuzziness going on can you see that and I have quite a bit of uh, new growth going on so I can't say it's getting thicker or fuller, but it, it is growing. Um, I think maybe the other day it looked a little fuller because I had done like a really thick, like um, fat braid braid out. And so it gave it sort of a waviness to it. So I don't know if that's what made it look fuller. Um, I'm going to do a quick little spin so you guys can see like where it's falling right now. So this is where it is in the front. Let's see if I had bangs. This is where they would be. Oh, look at that. They're coming on down past my mouth. I'm ready for them to get to the chin. That's where I really want them to be. But this is where they are. Here. Um, now, here they are on the side. This is the left side. So this is where they're kind of naturally falling. All right. Here they are on the right side. Okay, and here's the back. This is where it's naturally, you know, my head's not tilted back. This is just kind of where they're resting. So yeah, this is what's going on with the locks. Um, I will be, um, my locks will be three years in June, June the 15th. So yeah, so I'm excited. I'm very excited. I may not be jumping up and down, but I'm excited. They are really doing their thing. I'm still getting used to the length. If those of you out there are, are getting to the point where I am, where it's starting to like touch you in places that you're not used to your hair touching you, uh, or falling down when you really don't want it to fall down, um, I keep, I don't have it on my wrist now, but I typically keep like a little scrunchie or something. But now, of course, I can tie my hair back to with my hair, which is kind of cool. So that's good. Um, What's going on? Let's see if you are curious about what's going on. I was watching a video the other week. Um, I'm subscribed to a young lady here. I've been subscribed to her for a little while. Um, her username is Naps for ya. And she had put some beads on one of her locks. So, and I thought it was the cutest thing. And um, I know we're always talking about like specifically lock jewelry and stuff. 
But I thought this was such a simple, cute way to adorn the locks. And so I dug out some old beads that I had bought and I had multiple colors. And so I just put them on in the black, red, and green. And then I added a cowrie shell with a rubber band um, onto the bottom there. So yeah, so that's how I've been wearing it, been rocking it. I like it. It's cute. May wear it to work tomorrow. Not sure. May wear it like all of Black History Month or something to work just so you know. If people ask them like it's Black History Month. But um, yeah. What else has been going on with QO Chemist? Not much else has been going on. Like I said, really trying to push out, you know, getting the support for the Lock Appreciation Day. Um, I do have a few items I made over the holidays for QO's Crab Corner and I will be sharing that in a video. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, exciting news at my job. When I first took my job, um, I was leaving another company that I wasn't really content with or satisfied with the position. I was grateful for the opportunity that I had there, grateful for the job. Um, I had been traveling. It was like over an hour, like about an hour one way to, the, to my previous job. So when you have a drive like that and then you're no longer really happy with what you're doing that really makes for a stressful situation and just the environment some of the people were just kind of I don't know it was it was not a positive environment I'll say that and um, so I got an opportunity to interview for another job um, and actually it was around the time when I first started making YouTube videos if you guys remember the video one of the first videos I did where I did the lock bun not the jazzed up side bun, but just the pulled back little bun where I flipped it up in the back instead of pulling it under. Um, that I was actually going for my interview that day, and I got that job. And the job, I went from driving one hour one way to maybe seven minutes from my house. So God is so good, you know. He, he really is. I, I took the other job because I was just coming off of a layoff. I had been laid off or reduction in force, however you want to put that. Um, from my very first company I worked at here in Rhode Island and I had been out of work for six months and I needed a job and the position that I took I knew it wasn't really going to utilize all my skills but I was hoping that I could make the position be more once I got there and it just never panned out so I ended up leaving there and I like I said I got this job that I'm at now and I've been there since um, I guess it was May time frame so um, and I was excited to get the job. Um, everything was good except the one thing that was kind of just like digging, digging, digging at me was that they were such a smaller site that they started you out with two weeks of vacation. Mm, two weeks. And I, the last time I started out with two weeks of vacation was when I first started working. Uh, since then, every other company I've been at has started me with three weeks. And that is just a tough pill to swallow to lose a week of vacation. So I kind of justified it with the fact that the company I'm at now, they, we have a week of shutdown. So it's kind of like a week off guaranteed, but you know, you don't really get to plan it. You know, you just know it's going to be a week off and it's usually around Christmas, which is cool. So I kind of made peace with it. Well, this week, um, my manager came into my office and she was like, Hey, I have some good news for you. And I was like, okay, what, you know, what's so, you know, what's, what's going on? And she told me that the company had reevaluated their vacation policy. And I guess they, you know, want to be competitive with other companies. And they gave me my extra week. They, I have now have three weeks of vacation at my company. And I was so, so happy, you guys. And I wanted to share that with you guys just to say, Sometimes things are presented to you in such a way that everything is perfect except for one little thing. And you sometimes will feel like, oh, I can't do it. I cannot, you know, that one little thing is a deal breaker for me. You know, everything else is perfect, but the one little thing is a deal. It's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. And this could be in any aspect of your life. But sometimes, you know, I feel like God kind of tests us to see, you know, how badly do we really want something? Are we willing to sacrifice something for the greater good? You know, are we, can we see past that one little issue and see the better side of it? See all the other positives and that they are so much better for you that sacrificing that one little thing is going to be so much more worth it in the end. Um, 
because like I said, I was used to having three weeks to plan. My my first company I worked at, I had three weeks of paid vacation and a week of shutdown that was paid. So that was like four weeks. And so to go from that to two weeks of vacation, what? Um, but I did it because I knew ultimately the position itself was going to provide me with the opportunities I wanted. I was going to be able to utilize the skills that I had. It was just a better situation for me all the way around. And I'm so glad because now look, if I had you, if I had allowed that one thing to make me say no, I would have found out what six months later that my whole situation was going to change anyway. So I'm so glad that I did. So I guess let this be a lesson to you and to me because I need to apply this in other places in my life. Don't let the one little thing that looks like the deal breaker, you know, keep you from all of the other beautiful blessings. So, yeah, just wanted to um, say that and share with you guys. So this is a QO Chemist just general update video if for those of you who've missed you know hearing about just what's going on with me and not everything else all right guys i know this is really long <gasps> bye